Hey guys, been a while since we did a video. Uh, just building some more Evos. Uh, so we got uh, an Evo motor that we're putting together. Uh, he wanted uh, approximately a motor that's capable of 700 plus. So I just went ahead and moved him to the big boy build, which is aluminum rod motor. Um, we got billet crank, R&R uh, &R aluminum 156 millimeter rods, and the pistons go with the combination to make it a 2.1 liter. Uh, out of a 4G64. Um, we have also uh, figured out that there is a certain kind of water pump that you want to use with the 4G64 blocks and when you use it um, you don't have to use the adapter plate. Um, the adapter plate uh, kind of puts the water pump out just a little bit but it works really well but if you can get away with not having to use it then you know that's the best uh, you know best course of action so um, we have since figured out that uh, that you can actually use a Gates water pump for a 2.4 liter it comes we got the part number I'll show you the part number here so that is the part number for the water pump that actually works without using the actual um, uh, adapter plate and this is what it looks like uh, they got that little number on there. It's got this little kick out right here, but it doesn't mess with the crossover tube in the back. Um, it has, uh, I mean, it mates up really well and so far so good. It only came on one year of vehicle. Um, I can't remember what it is. I'll have Alan put it in the uh, description down below. But anyway, um, here's the block that we're gonna be building. It's got O-rings. We're doing the copper O-rings. Um, the rings are already filed uh, to fit, so I'm not going to need to do it on this one. We will be doing it on Allen's using uh, the ring filer, as you can see right there, just by hand. Um, we'll be painting the block black, and uh, yeah, yeah, legit uh, 4G64. Yay. Um, this one's got uh, main studs, bearings, all our clearances are already checked. Uh, my machinist does go through everything and puts everything up to, uh, you know, what we want. So, uh, you know, as far as clearances go. So, I mean, it's just going to be assembly. Um, I've done a few assembly videos, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to jump to getting this bad boy assembled. And uh, hopefully eventually here soon we can get it in the, uh, in the car as soon as I get uh, this thing done. So, one of the steps in building an aluminum rod motor is you got to clearance the block, uh, be it a 4G63 or a 4G64 or a G4CP or any of the other blocks, you know, that are 4G related versus, you know, Hyundai, um, Eclipse, uh, their, you know, the earlier blocks, whatever. Anyway, so when you are running a r, &R rod, See how beefy that bad boy is? Thing is, uh, that is beefy. What you need to do is you got to clearance your block for this part of the rod right here. Right here is your notch, right there, and that is I don't know you can't see it, but as this as this rod is moving around in there, you're you're getting that clearance right there because you're going to be really 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 close. So. As you can tell, I, I usually use about two fingers. I'll um, take two fingers and I'll just kind of set it down. And as long as the I can feel the ramp up on either finger on either side, and they're usually pretty good. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, see, so right now, this has got quite a bit of clearance. I went and clearance that one just a little on the wide side, which is no big deal, don't hurt it. That one's about the same, but you want about 30 thou of clearance right here. And since you're gonna be centered, you just kind of pick the center point and then you just go from there. It's not going to hurt anything to uh, clearance the bottom of the cylinder walls. Um, it's not gonna mess with the rings, not with the pistons or anything. It's merely just to make sure that this area of the rod right here does not hit the block. Because it will self-clearance and then you'll have metal in your oil. You'll hear knocking noises and then you'll be all freaked out. So, FYI, just so you know. And uh, 
I guess this also, um, any kind of stroker motor, 2.3 liter, uh, 2.3 liter and a 4G63, uh, you gotta clearance the block uh, the same way because of the, the stroke of the crank. Uh, puts that kicks that rod out so far that uh, you got to do it there anyway So just wanted to stop and show you that um, as we do the assembly and I'll just uh, break away and do you know uh, show you guys a few more little things here odds and ends and uh, uh, Some of the other videos show uh, you know how I put everything together or whatnot, but uh, yeah so far so good